gone. That's his 50th wicket. And that's the end of Dalport as well. The speech up, had a little half shot at it, straight back to Andrew Birch. And a fantastic start for the Warriors. That's in the air. Chance for Yonker. Chance for Yonker. Takes a fine catch. That's the end of Kaya Zondo. More trouble for the Hollywood Bet Dolphins. Fine catch from Christian Yonker. Extremely difficult hit by this back over the heads of Kingsmead. Could be the first boundary. Just shuffled on to off stump and guided it away down to fine leg. Driven well. Driven really well by Mornay van Vijk. Two boundaries in the over. Yeah. There we go. Knocked him over. He was looking for something that wasn't quite there. He looked back and he'll see two stumps standing. Magala strikes. Another successful bowling change by John John Smuts. Shot. That's slightly over pitch. A hint of width. And it lost something for the Dolphins to infuse over. That's a good shot. That is the best shot he's played in this over. That was all timing. It speeds away for four. He's got off to a really good start here, Carl Nipper. He's looking the part. Nicely paddled by his opposing skipper. And a milestone for Mornay van Veik. Having got past 18 or got to 18. That's 3,000 runs. In T20 cricket for Mornay van Vijk. Swept again and swept fine. Chase, chase for... Oh, beautifully timed. He's a good sweeper as Mornay van Vijk and he's had an opportunity to ply that trade today. <laughs> Not far away. Out. Mornay van Vijk, van Vijk is mortified, but it just seemed to drift in. Past that inside edge. Edge and away down to the vacant third man for four to bring up the 50. Up in the air, softest missile, easy as you like. And I've got a feeling that's what the previous ball did. He missed out on a full toss. He's come down the wicket and got deceived by the slow ball and chipped it meekly in the air for Yonko to take another catch. The reverse sweep, nicely played. That's going to speed away for four. He's bold, he's inventive, and he's talented, is Andelia Petlaqua. He gets off the mark with a boundary. He's got all of that. Let's watch in the crowd. Didn't come close, but what a good strike that was from Petlaqua. The short pitch ball is not the option you would think on the surface. Nonchalant as you like. What a catch from Colin Ackerman. Everyone's stunned. Peshla Kwayo, well, he's probably most stunned because he's got to now troop back to the pavilion. That should be out. Surrenders meekly, Cody Chetty. He's got two overs and a half to go, and now he's left it solely to Robbie Frying to negotiate this final couple of overs. This is big. This is big from Frying. Chance for a catch in the crowd. Down it goes. This is what Robbie Friday can do. This is what the home crowd have come out to watch. Short ball, six. Short ball, six, with no doubt. As soon as Friday made contact, he knew the result. Craig Alexander goes downtown long enough. Yes, maximum. Oh, gone. Spread eagle the stumps did Andrew Birch and Craig Alexander will walk off with three balls remaining. I tell you what he can do is hit it high in the air. Yonker settles himself. He should take this. He does take it. It was in the slot to go. Robbie Frying probably just hit it a meter too high. 116 required to win. Should be a doddle, I say. I say should be a doddle. Slashed away, cracked away for four. Oh, welcome Robbie Freiling. Straight back over his head for six. 
Well, if there was any doubt as to how the Warriors were going to go about it. Strays onto the pad. Six more. Six more from John John Smuts. Gone. Top delivery from Andile Pechlequayo. He strikes. The outside edge found and a simple enough catch from Orne van Veik. Cross batted out. Tried to create length. Timing not there. Pechlequayo strikes again. He strikes a big blow. Colin Ingram. And he's punched over mid on quite comfortably. That was such an easy stroke from Colin Ackerman. And it will run away for four. Oh, that's received the treatment almost as if he knew the length was going to be adjusted. Gave himself room and thrashed it away for four. Smuts on strike. That's too much on the pads. You can't bowl there to John John Smuts. And this is really a pressure release over being delivered by Alexander. Oh, my word. It's gone through the keeper. Nicely bowled by Freilink, and it goes right through Mornay van Veik. That is powered away for four. Well, he might be the linchpin, the trump card, but he started with two full tosses and a rank half tracker, as Imran told here. Another full toss. Smashed away, and has that gone all the way? I think it's just gone for four, but it may need inspection. He hasn't landed a delivery in the correct position. And four it is. That's three fours in a row from two full tosses and a rank short delivery. Good. High and handsome. Is it going all the way? Oh. Yep, just over the top of Kai Zondo. Another full toss and smashed out of Kingsmead. And 50 for John John Smuts. What a way to get there. He's bowled another one, but this time he's managed to pick out the field as Vaughan van Jansveld completes the catch. And Imran Tahir with yet another full toss this time has picked up the wicket of the man in form, the captain, the man who's got them on to the brink of victory, John John Smuts. It's a worry. Umpire's looking skywards. This game is beyond the Dolphins. If they go off now, it's over anyway. But the bonus point is the issue. If they get it within 16 overs, that's the bonus point. They're standing around. Let's get through. Let's finish the game off. Surely. That'll go all the way. Helped on its way into the stands for six. John John Smuts and Colin Ackerman have showed the way magnificently. Slashed away. That'll go for four. That'll be the victory and it'll be the bonus point victory to get the Warriors challenge off to the best possible start. Happiness.